I would just like to say that I'm here on behalf of the Wilds Area Knowledge Exchange. I'm John Quarterman. I put those videos on the web. And uh, you guys throw me a little off by meeting them a week early, so I haven't played with most of them. And I know you're of uh, you know, mixed opinions about whether you want the videos or not, but I noticed some of you look straight into the camera when you remark on certain things. So um, perhaps one thing you can do to help is the agenda. You do give away freely at the front door before the meetings, right? So those are already public. But they don't contain the details that you're worried about. What if you put your agendas on the web? That would help me out and help other people know what's going on. This is all. Um, the places that uh, promote <coughs> themselves successfully to the world often say what kind of industry they want. I think of places like Austin, Texas, Raleigh, North Carolina, Portland, Oregon. And in the case of Austin, which I know a little about because I lived there for a while, they have made the point for decades of saying they're for clean industry. It's worked pretty well for them. They've attracted several major think tanks. Of course, they have major universities and universities here. But, and they, that way, they uh, are second, I think, only to Silicon Valley in the States as far as the computing industry. That would not have happened if they hadn't made a stand for what are we for? At the time, they didn't know the computing industry was what was really going to move in. But because they were known as a place for clean industry and music and art, they got the kind of people, the knowledge based workforce that the Chamber of Commerce is looking for, for knowledge based jobs. So I'm just making a pitch for. Uh, as you know, I have read your charter because I came here and read it to you, which was kind of audacious of me. I assume you've all read it. And you know, the public good, the welfare of the general community, it's right there in the charter. You guys could lead the way. Um, another possibility would be Mayor Freddie. Thursday, I complimented him at the city council meeting for what he said at the commissioning ceremony for Largrass Solar, which I complimented you all again, by the way, for commissioning that day. And you may recall that he said that if someone else built a bigger solar plant, that we're competitive around here, and he had talked to Crawford Powell, Commissioner Powell, and that they would like to see that plant expanded. And I've heard Colonel Ricketts sitting right here say that that's possible in two directions. So that would be a very good thing if there's a way to do it to emphasize that this area is for clean, renewable energy solar in particular. Um, I guess I say that's not just as Lake as one of, as far as I know, one of the only two individuals in this county who actually has solar panels on one of their buildings. Because I believe in this stuff. I put my money where my mouth is. And I think it's good not just for me, but for the community, but for the direct, obvious power generation and for the big picture stuff that I mentioned. It's a way to emphasize that this community is for clean industry. So that's my thought for tonight. Thank you. All right, thanks, sir.